Good day, students. Welcome back to Teacher H's class. So for today's video, we are going to talk about the particles of an atom. We have three objectives. First, we are going to know what is an atom. Second, what are atoms made of? And third, we will determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in an atom. So first, what is an atom? Atoms are the basic building blocks of ordinary matter. Atoms can join together to form molecules, which in turn form most of the objects around you. And this is the Bohr's atomic model of a nitrogen atom. What are atoms made of? Atoms are composed of particles called protons, electrons, and neutrons. Protons. Protons carry a positive electrical charge. Electrons carry a negative electrical charge. Neutrons carry no electrical charge at all. And the central part of the atom is called the nucleus. And electrons orbit the nucleus. A particular atom will have the same number of protons and electrons, and most atoms have at least as many neutrons as protons. In 1973, scientists discovered that protons and neutrons are made of particles called quarks, or building blocks of an atom's nucleus, and at an electron particle called lepton. The number of protons and neutrons that an atom contains identifies the atom of an element. The atomic number of an element tells the number of electrons or protons present in an atom. The atomic mass is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons in an atom. To get the number of neutrons in an atom, subtract the number of protons from its atomic weight. Later, I will discuss it further. But first, I want to introduce to you the periodic table of elements. All of the known elements are organized into a table called periodic table of elements. Each box on the periodic table represents an element organized according to its atomic number and atomic mass. Each element is represented by a number, a letter, or letters, which is its atomic symbol. Generally, the symbol is the first one or two letters of the element's name, although el several element symbols come from their name in Latin. And some elements have names that relate to famous scientists or where it was discovered. So if we look at each box on the periodic table of elements, we can see this, the atomic number, the element symbol, the element name, and the atomic weight. But it, it varies on the format of the periodic table. Sometimes the atomic number is located here or at the corner. But in this case, the first word is the name, and the number below it is the atomic number, and the letter here is the atomic symbol, and the number below it is the atomic mass or weight. So don't be confused. Atomic mass is just the atomic weight. Okay, let's proceed. Um, we can determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in an atom by looking at the information given the table. So as I have said earlier, atomic number is just the number, is equivalent to the number of electrons or protons. Atomic mass is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons. And number of neutrons is the atomic weight minus number of protons. So let's have an example. Hydrogen element. So we can identify the number of electrons by looking at the atomic number. 
So the number of electrons is just the atomic number. So in this example, the number of electrons is one and the number of protons is one as well. And next is the number of neutrons. We can get the number of neutrons by subtracting the number of protons from its atomic weight. The atomic weight is already given. We can get it from the periodic table. And in this example, the atomic mass or weight of hydrogen is 1.008. So we're going to um, subtract the number of protons to from the atomic mass or weight. So one. 0 0.008 minus 1 is equals to 0 0.008. So that is the number of neutrons. Okay, so your turn. Try to answer this and write your answers on the comment box below and I'll check it later. I'll give you can pause this video to answer. Okay. So let's answer this example, the sodium element. And this, here are the answers. The number of electrons is 11 because the atomic number of sodium is 11 and number of protons is 11 also because it is the atomic number. And number of neutrons, we subtract we subtracted the number of protons from the atomic mass, which is 22.99. And the answer is 11.99. Okay. So how about this? If the atomic mass or weight is not given, try to answer this also. Write your answers on the comment box, comment box below. You can pause the video if you have if you need more time to answer. Okay, so the answers are the number of electrons of carbon is six because the atomic number of carbon is six, number of protons is six as well. And later I gave the number of neutrons is given so. You can use this to determine the atomic mass or weight of the carbon. So the formula to get the atomic mass, we will add or get the sum of the number of protons and neutrons. So we, we just add added the number of protons to the number of neutrons and the answer is 12.011. And that ends our discussion today. I hope you learned something new today. And thank you for listening. Bye.